Hello guys, good morning. So today I'm going to share about you about um, in DSSC one of the characterization of photo anode, which is um, the electron transport lifetime TN and also charge collection efficiency NCC. So you can neglect the poor handwriting, just focus on the input. So in order to know about the electron transport lifetime. Tn, you can use the formula of Tn. The formula is very simple. It's 1 divided by 2 pi f. You got the maximum frequency from the EIS graph. When you run the EIS graph, you will get what we call that the boat plot. From the boat plot, you can get the maximum frequency. Then from the maximum frequency, you can know the electron transport lifetime by using the formula 1 over 2 pi f so what happened if you compare between two material if the material they have lower f mag which means that the boat plot is shifted to the left means that the f mag is lower then the electron lifetime will be longer the longer the electron lifetime is the better so and then you also can calculate the charge collection efficiency using the formula of 1 plus RS over RCT, series resistance divided by charge transfer resistance in the bracket power of negative 1. The theory behind the charge collection efficiency, we want our material to have higher charge collection efficiency. We want our material to have a longer electron transport and also higher electron charge collection efficiency so the higher is 100% so the closer to 100% is the better so then to obtain this both good result how we can get we should have a bigger RCT and also a lower RS to have a bigger NCC so so let's imagine this is the EIS graph you got the two semicircle the first semicircle and second semicircle if you are study about a photo and not typically you can get three semicircle the first semicircle is about the resistance between the counter electrode and what we call that the electrolyte the second one is about the the second resistance is about the resistance between the FTO the dye and also the photo anodes the last Resistance is about nation diffusion of the electrolyte. So, when we want to study about uh, EIS, we want to focus on the electron lifetime and also NCC, we focus on the resistance at the middle frequency. We focus the resistance between the photoanode, counter electrode, and also the dye. We are focusing the resistance between the three of them. In the middle frequency so you should you just get the frequency what we call that the semicircle the resistance at the middle frequency and you use the formula which we i already explained the formula earlier so you can get the what we call that the charge collection efficiency and also electron lifetime so in order to get a higher charge collection efficiency a sample must have a bigger charge bigger semicircle which is bigger resistance and a smaller rs series resistance so so here is the summary so a good eis result will be have a higher rct charge transfer resistance and a lower rs series resistance indicates a good conductivity and reduce recombination effect so both these resulted to the lower fmag so we want to have a lower fmag frequency from the boat plot the resulted to higher or longer electron lifetime tn resulted to a higher charge collection efficiency so in order to have a good result for you for you to able to explain how it's going to happen why it's going to happen the result must be tally from the EIS, from the charge transfer resistance, series resistance, maximum frequency, electron lifetime, and also last but not least charge collection efficiency. So all of this can be characterized into 
one analysis, which is electrochemical analysis, that proven whether your material is good or not when you hybrid it into something, when you add something, you doping or you like add like scattering layer or maybe you add whatever like um compact layer or whatever. So if you are saying that your power conversion efficiency is improved, you must explain from the electrochemical part why is it improved.